So, so one of the things that I do want to point out is that it's getting harder for me to say, no, that's wrong, right? Because <laughs> in, uh, in season four, even though we're still 20 years ago, we're 2003. Hi, guys. I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Hello. Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, I'm a huge uh, fan of space uh, TV shows and movies, uh, always been. And uh, so the fact that there is a, an actual astronaut here as, answering questions, it seems pre pretty uh, amazing to me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I wanted to start out with uh, what kind of uh, resource that is for the, the other two of you to kind of create like the spacesuits and and the sets uh, to to kind of look as 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 great as they possibly can uh, having an astronaut saying no that's not how it would be or yeah that, that's actually how I remember it or or whatever happened so so how how has that col the collaboration been it's been fantastic, and we work really closely with Garrett, but Esther and I work together, and there's other departments as well, such as special effects or visual effects. So it's a very closely knit group that exchanges information and discusses how real something should look. Uh, our famous saying is form follows function. And we find that we can get things to look really fantastically great, but at the same time be scientifically um, accurate. And that's there's a balance that we're trying to reach here. And in um, this particular sci uh, science fiction show for all mankind, it's science based. So everything originates with Garrett to make sure that we're using the proper propulsion system for a spaceship or the proper design to uh, manage radiation on Mars, for example. And then from there, we move forward. I think that's very similar to our process in terms of the spacesuit. Um, Garrett and I started working together um, specifically um, to design the season four spacesuit. Um, the, we're sort of pushing ahead in terms of technology. Um, and so I relied on Garrett to lend his expertise of where we could and could not go. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was a process. It took us about, took me about two months um, of design work um, to move through and sort of end up with our final um, version, but it, it was interesting sort of bouncing off ideas with Garrett um, and him sort of interacting with me and telling me, well, it actually functions this way, or you should include, have you thought about um, the, the details of uh, spacesuit design are, um, are really intense. And uh, I kind of knew uh, just sort of offhandedly, but once I got into it, I was astounded how much I needed to know. Um, they are amazing um, pieces of equipment, I'll use that word, um, in terms of their function and design. And I really wanted to, to pay homage to that. I mean, the, the industry is really pushing ahead right now um with their design elements and um and certainly so were we and it it was sort of an interesting process and i'm grateful Garrett, uh, how, how do you feel uh, do they manage to uh, catch whatever you feel being actually in space and seeing it on the tv oh uh, yeah no they, they, they do a fantastic job so so one of the things that i do want to point out is that it's getting harder for me to say no that's wrong right because <laughs> in uh in season four even though we're still 20 years ago we're 2003 the technology and the accomplishments that we've made in in human spaceflight far exceed anything we've actually done we've have we have habitats on mars we have people in spacesuits going out uh, around asteroids things that we we haven't done so so it's it's I can't say you know categorically that no that that's incorrect because who knows we haven't done this yet 
Uh, but we've thought about doing these things, and there are still basic principles and, and different, uh, like, for example, one of the things with the suit, I remember talking about, well, how is the suit cooling system going to work? And how, how can we make that realistic? Because that's something that's different between a suit that you build for Mars and a suit that you build for the moon or, or for the space station. So, so we had those discussions, and, we, and, and, and that's what was great about incorporating uh, things in there, so at least we can point to it and say that's how the cooling system works. And so for the, our true fanatics out there, we have, we have a little Easter eggs that we put in their form, and, and that's, that's always really fun for me. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. So thanks a lot for taking your time to speak with me and best of luck with the premiere uh, again now. And I hope we get to see even more seasons. Thank you too. Thank Us you. too. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>